Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal and Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. Aquarius, this is your February reading. I hope you guys are doing okay. Happy birthday. Officially, the sun has entered your sign today. January 19th. Happy birthday to the Cuspers, Capricorn, Aquarius, Cuspers, and anybody celebrating this week. So, Aquarius, the party is happening in your sign. We have Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, um, now the sun in your sign. Uh, Venus will not be entering your sign until later on in February. I believe it's February 18th or something, but we'll talk about that. And um, there are a lot of squares going on with um, your sign, Aquarius, the planets in your sign, and Uranus, where there is, uh, not Uranus, and Taurus, where there is Uranus and Mars. So the energy is very electric. I mean, your energy, you are ruled by Uranus and Saturn, but Uranus is on in Taurus, a fixed sign, just like you. So these energies are very tense. It's a very stubborn energy. I'm right, no, I'm right kind of energy. This is collectively as well. But yesterday, as you guys know, if you've been on my channel for a little bit, I get my downloads when I'm in bed, getting ready to sleep and thinking about the reading the next day. I kept hearing leaders. You guys are being set up, Aquariuses, prepped to step into your leadership position. And when I say leadership, yes, it could be uh, a position at a job, but this is even bigger. It's like, I see you guys with people around you listening and honoring what you say. Kind of like a motivator, um, guru energy. You guys are you know, the sign that that is of the higher mind. You are air swords, but you guys have a direct communication with spirit. Um, and lots of downloads. You can expect a lot, lot of downloads right now, obviously. And um, I don't know, it's just that, guys, it's like whatever you have been manifesting for the past five, ten years, it's coming. But it's almost like spirit is testing you one last time. It's not testing you like, okay, if you fail, you're not going to get it. Yes, you're going to get it. But basically what I want to say is like the ball is in your court now, Aquarius. Your manifestation is ready, packed, and ready to be sent to you. But if you do not make room for it, it's still going to be on hold. It's going to be on hold, right? It's still yours, but it's up to you. If you want to get it now, later, 10 years, five years, whatever. And it's a beautiful manifestation of fame. A lot of Aquariuses are going to be jumping into sudden fame, sudden wealth, just sudden popularity, prosperity. It, it's crazy. And um, so what can these this test be? What can this test be? It can be um, your outer world, you getting rid of people, you... Um, relocating, uh, readjusting stuff around you, or it could be internal, you having to realign your chakras, and most importantly, surrendering to faith. I think that's the most important message here, surrendering to faith. And just wait for it, okay? So um, let's get into the cards. I have a lot of cards. We're going to start with a Moonology card. Moonology card. To see. And we're going to animal oracles. So spirit. I already shuffled. I'm just going to shuffle one time like this and cut the deck. Let's get some frankincense here. Hope you guys like my pick a cards. I did a bunch, like three of them, while I was waiting. Because January, I didn't want to do a reading. It was more of a soul work kind of readings i did a lot of soul work kind of re readings go check my channel out oh and guys if you want to be really supportive uh with the channel you know bring your support please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to donate my paypal's below and also if you want a reading my email's below okay so aquarius please spirit february aquarius happy birthday again aquarius spirit aquarius february Aquarius February. Aquarius February. Aquarius 
I like to shuffle on camera, and I like the cards to jump or just get like that, get stuck in my hand. That's how I read. So we have, yeah, emotions are running high, definitely, super moon. See, something is coming to a conclusion. There's this new cycle just waiting to happen, guys. It's about to burst. It's about to fall in your lap. It's about to just like shoot and just land just land on top of you you are going to be showered with so much abundance and prosperity but like i said there's some adjustments still needed here super moon not even a full moon it's a super moon guys okay and emotions are running high yeah it's kind of weird though because i'm an aquarius rising and it's the opposite i'm like i'm like what is going on i'm an aquarius rising Mars and Uranus, people are probably around you are going nuts. Maybe you are, but it's the opposite for me. I feel all I want to do is sleep. I just took a three hour nap. It, it, I don't even know. Whatever. This is not about me. Emotions are running high. So a lot of you might be feeling nervous. Okay. Um, angsty, restless. It's very important you ground your energy because with everything going on, it's very important you ground your energy okay how do you do that it's by doing breathing exercises maybe listening to some Hertz music for your root chakra meditating obviously drinking some chamomile doing whatever like makes you your heart sing it could be drawing it could be singing it could be whatever taking a bath it's very important you ground your energy Aquarius okay for some of you definitely I feel that yeah emotions are definitely running high all right, just like the card says. So that's very important. It's important for, and it's like, I feel like you guys are, you're leading the collective. I mean, you are representative. You represent, sorry, the collective. So you have a big, 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 big uh, role here to play, Aquarius, in the collective. So that's a lot of pressure. So that's what I'm saying. You really definitely need to ground your energy, Aquarius, okay? All right, let's get an animal oracle. Spirit Aquarius, please. February. Aquarius, February. Let's see. How am I going to do this? You probably can't even see the cards, but I'm just... I'm going to put them here. Because then I'm going to get into the tarot. So, Aquarius, please, Spirit. February, Aquarius. Two? Okay. All right, Spirit. Yeah, set healthy boundaries. I'm a deal spirit. Definitely. Mm. It's a three. Because you're expanding. Co-create with spirit. Yes, that's what I said, guys. Spirit is just waiting on you. <coughs> There's just a minor setback. I, I felt it when I was in bed. It's just something so minor for some of you. For some of you, it's something huge. Like definitely needing to cut out people that you know you need to cut out but you've been like it, it's not easy to cut out people right especially people that have been in our lives for a long time but um think aquarius are those people worth your abundance if you want to cut them off there's a reason right so it's it's for you to decide do you want this abundance to come in the one you manifested the one is pretty much your destiny. Spirit says, help me out here. Cut these people out. Cut these things out of your life. Help me help you. Help me help you. Okay? Probably, like, getting a lot of people coming. Maybe, you know... The emotions are not even yours. This um, super moon emotions are running high. Maybe they're not even your emotions. Maybe they're emotions of people around you. Bringing that stress, that anxiety. There's definitely a need for some clearing here, Aquarius. Not only for your sanity and your well-being. 
but for a spirit to bring in this manifest manifestation. You are getting set, Aquarius. It's like you're not, your life is never going to be the same. Unfortunately, these people and these things and these habits could not come with you. There's no room for it there. It doesn't vibrate at the same level. Okay? All right, let's get into tarot. Now it's going to get very interesting. Please, Spirit. Aquarius February. I broke, down, uh, broke out the... Um, OG Tarot, everybody has this deck. This is the original Ride or Wait. I even have some notes when I started reading Tarot. So I kept seeing this when I was pre-shuffling. It's the end. This is cutting these people out. You cannot afford to be lying down and taking it for everybody, anybody that doesn't deserve it. Anybody that's not with the vision, anybody that's not awoke, awake, sorry, anybody that's not of spirit. Because you are kind of going to be the voice. Again, I heard the voice. You are the voice. You are the voice of God. Two of Cups. This is the kind of people you want in your life now. Not the Ten of Swords people. Not the Five of Wands people. Not the Five of Swords people. You want the Two of Cups people in your life now. People that vibrate like you do, that want the same thing you do, same objectives, same vision, same goals, same desires, coming from, uh, from a pure heart, equal. I have your back, you have my back. Let's make this world great again kind of energy. Let's grow together. Let's make each other better. Let's protect each other. I don't feel like it's love, honestly. Um, I feel like it's really community, which is you. You represent community, okay? But let's get some more and see what's up. So, two of cups, beautiful card, first card to come out. Get more. I'm going to get three cards and then I'm going to clarify them. Spirit, what else for Aquarius, please? February. Yeah, so much to do, so much to do, so much to do here, Aquarius. Seven of Cups. Look at all the cups. I mean, look at all these cups. Look at, that's Ten of Cups. I mean, that's uh, Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups and Two of Cups, Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment that you co-create with spirit. So many cups. Look at this. Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, Eight of Pentacles, Venus in Virgo. You've worked hard for this. This is what you, I heard too when I was in bed. You've been trained for this since you were born. I heard that too yesterday, and that's exactly this energy here. You were training for this. You were being set up for this, prepped for this since you were born, Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles. Your craft, your mission, your something you are dedicated to spirit, body, and soul, mind, and body, and soul, your whole being. You know this is where you're meant to be. You know this is what you're supposed to do. And you do it automatically without even thinking without any effort because it is essentially you you don't you don't know what like what else to do <laughs> and even if you um did something else you always came back to it because it is in alignment with your soul okay aquarius i mean look at this Ace of Pentacles, the new beginning with the Two of Cups here. This is your new route. This is your new life in abundance, in stability, with, surrounded by people that love you, admire you, respect you, praise you, 
protect you. Some of you, this could be an engagement. Okay, it could be an engagement. This could be the ring here. For some of you that are interested in love. Let's see. Let's get into the Seven of Cups here, which is Venus and Pisces. I mean, Venus and Scorpio, I think. So, see, a lot of Venusian energy, a lot of cups. But it's a balance because we... It's a balance of cups and pentacles. So, it's like purpose, you know, destiny. It's beautiful. And then, yeah, spirit here. But, like I said... There's just, you, there's something you have to do first, Aquarius. Spirit is just waiting. They're just waiting. You are the one that is, you're not, I mean, I don't want to say you're in your own way. Kind of, you are, but I mean, you are the one delaying this, okay? It's now or never, I heard. It's now or never. Not even never. It's now or later, really. Because like I said, it's coming anyway, but it's up to you. Strength and the five cups. Yeah, we're not doing this anymore. Having, putting ourselves in situations. Sorry, I don't, I'm not going to do reversals. Putting ourselves in this, these situations where we know, even before we got into it. Or... If it's an exist, existing relationship, it doesn't have to be love. It could be any kind of relationship. We know that this is going to be our perpetual state, our eternal state, if we stay here. So we need to gather our strength and move on <clears throat> and set these boundaries. No matter how hard, how sad it's going to feel, it's time now. It's time to move on from these people, these things. It's time to move on from this energy. Muster up your strength. You know, put your, put your uh, adult big boy, big girl shoe, uh, boots on. And uh, it's time. We don't want to be... You don't have time to be in this energy here, Aquarius, anymore. It's, it's not you. It's where you're going. There's no room for that. There's no room for that. Okay? These people, which are the cups in the front, right, are depleting you. You need to go towards these people here. The two of cups behind you. Cross that bridge and go towards your castle. Go towards your greatness. Go towards your purpose. Okay? Because I feel like even though you were with around these people, it's like a kind of back and forth energy I'm feeling. And I feel like it's, it's about to break now. It's like you realize that, you actually do realize that this cannot go on anymore. Super moon, emotions are running high. Because it's spirit that is trying to, it, spirit is in your ear or trying to show you signs that say, we have to, enough now. We can't do this anymore. We can't do this anymore. We can't do this anymore. We can't be in this energy anymore. It's not, you know, it's time. It's time. You feel the pressure. I mean, all this, this energy in your sign. Plus Mars and Uranus over there in Taurus. And like I said, so many squares going on. Jupiter squaring Uranus. Saturn squaring Uranus. Uh, Mars squaring, I don't know. Pluto, whatever. So many squares, guys. But by the time the sun enters Pisces, it'll be a little bit smoother. We're going to have so much energy in your sun. We already do, right? Now we just had the sun enter, adding on to it. Then we're going to have the moon entering, adding on to it. So imagine. And it's going to be a full moon in, your, in Leo as well. Emotions <laughs> running high. Full moon in Leo is on the 28th, I think. Your opposite sign. I think this is, that's what this card is. Once the full moon enters, you're going to be pressured into making a decision whether you're, like, you're ready or not. Whether you're ready or not, that's gonna, you're going to feel the pressure when we get into the full moon in Leo on the 28th of January. It's almost like 
the end of January, although this is a February reading, the end of January, Aquarius, is going to be very emotional. Um, you're going to even want to give up. I, you're going to cry. It's going to be a roller coaster of emotions. Definitely. But it's setting you up for greatness. It's setting you up a whole new chapter. Love, protection, abundance, prosperity, fame. Okay? It's like you go from this working hard, putting your energy into people, feeling depleted afterwards. You go from this to this. You see? You go from this to this. Balance. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what's in the bottom of the deck. I just want to see. Look at that. You. Yeah. I told you guys, this is setting you up for you to be in your mightiness, your greatness. You've been training for this since you were born. Help spirit help you. It's not even that. It's... Spirit is ready. Are you? Spirit is ready. Are you? Are you ready? I think that's what I'm going to call your reading. <clears throat> Spirit is ready. Are you? That's, your, that's the name of your reading. I felt it yesterday. It's huge huge your life is never going to be the same it's scary i know it's scary look at this hermit star ten of cups what nine of cups the nice magician you guys stop look at this i'm, I'm like wow the energy is talk about emotions are running high forgot the ten of cups spirit is ready are you you've been doing hermit you've been doing this but like I said it's been a, a back and forth like you know something's coming but it's like one minute you're like okay I'm not doing this anymore and then you get sucked back in okay it's like, an, it's about to break. It's about to break. And that's why these emotions are running high. It's the last pool. It's the last pool. And that's really tough, right? It's almost like giving birth to a baby. I don't know if... I'm going to tell you because I know. <laughs> it's that last push before the baby comes out. It's that last push through the canal before the baby comes out. Magician, Nine of Cups, Star, Ten of Cups. I mean, hello? <sighs> Spirit is ready, are you? Beautiful. This is beautiful. Amazing. I'm going to put this here. beautiful all right spirit now let's get some oracles I'm gonna get I want to get one of these I have three options I have the guidance um, goddess guidance oracles I have the romantic angels and I have the keepers of the light I think I want to get 
it, Aquarius, happy birthday. I'm going to get one of all of them, actually. I'm going to get all of them. Since it's your birthday and this is amazing, it's huge. It's amazing. Let's get a goddess first, a goddess card first and see what's up. And then we'll get all the other ones. So, Spirit, what do you have for the goddess guidance for Aquarius? Ooh. Aim. Leap of faith. It's that surrendering. It's that trusting in spirit. Take a risk and put your heart's des true desires into action. Take a risk and put your heart's through true desires into action. Are you going to do it? Like I said, spirit is ready. Are you? That's exactly what I'm going to call this reading. Spirit is ready. Are you? Aquarius. You're almost there. It's waiting for you. Go pick up your package. Romance Angels. I just heard this might be for some of you. It's a divorce. You're going to have to... The last... Sacrifice. It's not even a sacrifice because it puts you in this kind of energy anyway. So it's long overdue. It's a divorce that you've been push, pulling, pushing off, brushing off. And it's time. Ooh, that almost went in my burner. It's a hot card. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's that love here. There's some, you're being set up for everything you ever wanted, the dream life here. But how are you going to attract this partner if you're still in a partnership? People, whoever this person is, maybe it's your twin flame, your soulmate. This is soulmate energy. They feel there's an attachment here that you need to get rid of, Aquarius, whether it's love, an addiction. Whatever, but since this is the romantic angel, let's talk about the love situation. Remember, I was telling you this is a, an engagement. This is meeting someone and starting a brand new life, set on a really um, stable foundation that leads to the Ten of Cups. But first, you're gonna have to be your Nine of Cups, and then meet this person, and then you both can become. Each bring their cup and you both have your 10 of cups, right? 11, sorry, 12. So then you both have your 10 of cups. I don't know if you understand the math, but I understand myself. <laughs> you see, like, because what you are being set up for, you are going to be, I mean, like I said, famous, admired, respected. And no, this person is not going to come in and want to just because you're famous and you know you're abundant want to some of that some of that you know energy then good good energy no 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 this person is probably as a, as it's going to be as established as you it's going to be your equal it's going to be your equal you will know it because there will be instant attraction here instant attraction like you guys known each other before because spirit is doing this. Spirit is setting you up for greatness, for love, for everything a human being could hope for here on earth. I mean, nine of cups, star, ten of cups, magician. The ultimate manifestation. And I feel like you're gonna meet this person at some really random place, like a supermarket, I'm hearing, walking down the street, at a red light, in your car, they're next to you in their car, something really random, like something you know that only spirit could do. It's like you're gonna be minding your business and here comes this person. 
and it's gonna go very fast because it's meant to be it's almost like guys <clears throat> this thing you need to do is this thing it's like a domino as soon as you take care of this thing whatever it is that you get rid of separate the attachment from it's like everything just starts lining up for you like dominoes love prosperity money fame it just it just comes to you one after the other you're like wow am i dreaming please pinch me guys Last but not least, let's get a Keepers of the Light. This is um, crazy. Spirit, what else do we have? For Aquarius, February. Commander Ashtar, call to action. I told you guys, it's time. It's time. Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. You guys are leaders. Call to action. Spirit is ready, are you? Okay, last but not least, Sacred Destiny. Let's get a final card. I mean, look. Spirit is ready, are you? Her spirit is ready. Are you? Okay. I'm going to stop repeating that. I think you got it by now. Okay. Beautiful. Very intense. I know. It's scary. Because this is huge. This is huge. It's a huge responsibility. But like I said, you have been training for this since you were born. And you probably might have had a really rough childhood. Because you had to go through trials and tribulations, like really tough times. Because to be a leader, especially a spiritual, not li literally a spiritual, I'm not gonna say you're gonna be like a pastor or whatever. But helping people, raising uh, communities, you know, from spirit, from your heart space, from your faith, you know, whatever it is you do, whatever it is you do <clears throat> is going to impact people's lives because it's your purpose and it is what you were meant to do. That's what I mean. But to... Um, Develop empathy, uh, understanding, um, humility, the grace. You have to have um, gone through the same emotions as others in order to understand how to best help them. Spirit. What else do we have? Last card for Aquarius February. Oh, 
flow. Surrender. Let it go. You do what you have to do and let spirit do the rest. And once you do, for some of you, you already did set the boundaries, did the healing, right? Went within, hermit card, did the release, the releasing. And you're in the uh, surrender mode now. And it's about to flow in, like I said, like dominoes. It's about to flow in like dominoes. For those of you, for the others, right? You're still having to go through this, um, through this uh, test here, where you have to let go of people, set healthy boundaries, cut people out, okay, and go within in hermit mode and and realign in order to let this blessing come in, in order to let these blessings come in, because it's like not just one; it's like all areas of your life. All right, spirit. All right, spirit. Spirit is with you. All right, Aquarius. Spirit is definitely with you. It's a crow. You might be seeing crows lately, or you are going to be seeing crows. And that is your sign, your omen. And if you need to, come back for the reading. All right, Aquarius. Beautiful reading. Um... You are being called into mission, into action. And as long as you take a leap of faith, you will not fail. And spirit will guide you. Okay? Make sure you are grounded. And don't let any energy interfere with this energy here that's coming into you because we cannot allow it spirit can't have it there shall be not be any interference in this mission in this new cycle of your life that is your life you're done You've been groomed. You've been groomed. You're ready to step into mission. And it just gets better and better and better and better from here on. Everything you ever wanted. Everything. Independence. Um, uniqueness. Power of healing. Others. The family. Kids your own family, harmony, the love, everything, the abundance, it's beautiful. You being center stage and inspiring people. You are the leader. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Namaste, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye guys.